under 5,000 feet and it may get a little slow because I'm at 4,000 feet. Morning, morning, morning. Would everyone please rise for the word? I will be reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verses 6 and 8. Neither did they say, Where the Lord, where, the, where is the Lord, sorry, who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, who led us through the wilderness, through a land of desert and pits. Through a land of drought and the shadows of death. Through a land that no one crossed and where no one dwelt. I brought you into a bounty country, country to eat its fruits, to eat its goodness. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my heritage abomination. The priest did not say, where is the Lord? And those who handled the law did not know me. The rulers also transgressed against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after things that did not profit. Bless the hearers and the doers of the word. Yes. Let us bow. Matches of eternal God, we thank you. Oh God, first because you touched us this morning with your touch of love and yes, Lord. allow for us to open our eyes. Yes, Lord. Giving us another opportunity to give you praise. Amen. So for that we want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. God, we may have not woken up the way that in a condition that we may desire to be in physically yes. and mentally. Yes, Lord. But, oh God, because of grace and mercy, we are still here. Yes, yes, yes. So for thank that, we Lord. want to say thank, thank you. God. God, in the middle of the night, as we slept in slumber, you allowed every angel from heaven to be dispatched around our house. Yes, Lord. And provided protection for us as we slept. We know that someone didn't wake up this yes, morning on this yes, side. Yes, yes. But because we did, we want to say thank you. Thank you. God, there are many right now that are worse off than we are. Yes, Lord. But because you continue to bless us, we want yes, to say thank yes. you. Thank you, Lord. God, we ask you right now that you forgive us for all unrighteousness and anything that may hinder our prayer. Yes, yes. And then I ask you, God, that you remove anything from us that may hinder us from lifting up our hands and our voice and just telling you this morning, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God, you are worthy of every ounce of praise that yes, we are able Lord. to give. And I, I declare that because we were created to worship the God, we will worship you today like we've never worshipped you before. Yes, yes. God, we want to thank you, Lord, not just for the way that you blessed us in a tangible way, but we want to thank you, oh God, for the untangible blessings. God, we want to thank you, Lord, for eyes to see and ears to hear. We want to thank you, oh God. For the ability to be able to carry ourselves and not have to be pushed around yes. by somebody else. We want to thank you, thank oh God, that you have been the provider yes. for us, God. That when we open our cabinets, there are food there. When we, yes. when yes. we turn on our heater, we, we find that there is heat there. Yes. We want to thank you, oh God, thank you, Lord. for the many things that people seem to take for granted. Yes. We understand and know, God, that you are, are the, 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 the controller of all things. Yes, Lord. So we acknowledge you this morning. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you for everyone that have pressed their way out to get into yes, service yes, this morning. Yes, and God, for their efforts, we ask you, Lord, to allow them to receive exactly what they have come to receive. Yes, Lord. Give them a word that will motivate them and that will encourage them to continue to press on. Yes, yes, for we understand, yes. oh God, that the race that we run is not given to the swift or the battle to the strong. Yes, but it, your word declares that it's given to those that endure. Yes, yes. So I'm asking God, regardless of what it looks like, in our own eyes, we, we ask that you allow us to look at things through your spiritual eyes. Yes. And not look at where we are, but look at where we're going. Yes, Lord. Knowing, Father God, that greater comes later. Yes, yes. We thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. We ask you, O oh God, that you let us be on one accord, Father, yes. that your 
that your that your spirit may dwell in this place and have its way like only it can. Yes. We thank you for those that are here, that those that may be on their way. We thank you, oh God, for those that just had a thought about Cedar Grove this yes. morning. Bless yes. them. Yes, Lord. In a mighty way. Yes, Lord. We lift up Pastor West to you this morning. His yes. family, oh God, we ask that you strengthen and bless them. Yes. And allow them to remember, Father God, that your word declares that you'll never leave them nor forsake yes. them. Yes. And God, that you will be the present help in the time of trouble. Yes. And we know, oh God, right now, they need your peace. They need yes. your strength. Yes. And I'm asking you, God, in the midst of this storm, that you allow your joy to be present. Yes. We yes. thank you, oh God. We magnify and glorify your holy name, oh God. And we thank you that we can stick a key through the door today and come into your house and worship. That the lights are on, that the, that the building is secure, oh God. But even more, oh God, that we, we, we met you here. So we ask you, oh God, that you have your way this morning. We love you, God. We thank you for the musicians, God. We thank you for those that have come to participate. We came... To give you praise, and we ask you, God, to just have your way. Yes, Lord. When we've done all that we can do on this side, God, we ask you, oh God, that you give us a home in your kingdom, God, where every day will be Sunday and Sabbath will happen to win. Yes, Lord. But until then, God, use us to continue to glorify your name yes. and lift you up that others may be drawn unto you. Yes, Lord. And we thank you now thank for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you have yet to do. In the majestic and mighty powerful name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Yes. All of God's children that agree with this prayer just says thank God, thank God. and amen. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I will bless thee, O Lord.
say victory shall be mine. Oh,
have been worried about Pastor Wes. I have been scared that he may have a heart attack or anything. But on yesterday, he gave me the courage to know that who he was and whose child he was. And for that, I say thank you. Thank you. And to let me know I don't have to worry about him. Because mm -hmm. whatever comes to him, the Lord is going to help him handle it. And I just say thank you for him on yesterday. He don't know how he blessed me yesterday. It made me know that whatever hits you, if you go to the Lord, as First Lady said, if you call 911, <laughs> he'll answer you. Yeah. And so that's what Pastor Red's been doing. He's been calling 911. Uh -huh. And if you haven't got what I'm talking about, you better get it because that's the only place you can get it yeah. if you call 911. Yeah. Because he's always on his post. Yeah. Okay, and I didn't come up here to say all that this morning, but I had to say it anyway. Amen. Pastor Wesley's son service will be on Tuesday. We'll be praying for the Bowen family. Do we have any visitors this morning? Okay. Any birthdays? This is February. We're just getting started. Any birthdays for February? We did a lot of celebrating in January. Amen, amen, amen. I have a thank you card. It says thank you. See the growth, family and friends for your birthday gifts and the love that you show you have shown me. You were truly, you were truly a blessing. And the reading says it may have been something simple to you, but it meant everything to me. And that's from Sister Brian. All right. Amen. I'm not gonna do a reading this morning because when I finish. Before Pastor come, First Lady's gonna come and sing my favorite song for me this morning. <laughs> and now it's time for our love offering. Love oh, offering. Tides. Oh, for tides. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some good days yes, yes. And I've had some heels To grab and I've had some weary days He's been good. He's been good. He's been so good. 
But the man that sang the song, he, he had that one little part pop where he said, he said, I could complain, but I won't. Sometimes I want to complain, but I won't. Because I found out that I got a God that can fix everything at all times. When he wants to, and all I got to do is say thank you. Anybody in here, brother, but watch this. Have you ever been at a place where you were in a situation where the bill needed to be paid and yeah. you didn't yeah. see no money nowhere? Yeah. Yeah. But instead of you sitting down having a pity party, yeah. you just begin to magnify God in your yeah. own way. Yeah. And some way, somehow, some another, you happen to go check a mail yeah. and wind up with a check you wasn't expecting yeah. that not only paid the bill but gave you a little extra too. Yeah. I need you to know that when you can pray of your hell situation, he'll give you more than enough, and that's your reason for saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever been sick in your body? And it seems like you didn't even want to get up out the bed. Yeah. But the moment you begin to magnify the name of Jesus, yeah. it's something just came over you. Yeah. Well, if, oh my God. Have you ever came to church feeling bad and the spirit hits you? Yeah. And you begin to praise and forgot all about you were sick? Yeah. Somebody ought to say thank you. Yeah. He's been good to me. More than this whole world. More than my money. More than my friends. More than my job. More than my popularity. More than my church. Could ever be. He's been so good to me. When I couldn't stop crying, you tried. Yeah. 
move past. We move too fast to don't let the spirit have his way. But I need you to know what God intended for this house this morning is here right now. He intended it for this house is here right now. But somebody needed to understand, stop focusing on what you're going through and just tell God, thank you. Stop worrying about what it looks like and tell him, thank you. Stop trying to figure out how you're going to get out. Just say thank you.
Showing up, thank you, Lord, is just like putting some money in the bank. Yes. Yes. When you slide your ATM card, you know it's something there that you can put. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thank you, Lord, to put you in places that nothing else has. Oh, yeah. All right. Because when you say thank you, Lord, it accesses heaven in a way that it shakes things loose in your life. Yes. Yes. I believe when Peter, I believe when our Paul and Silas was in jail at the midnight hour, yes. the praise and worship that they were singing, yes. I bet you it included thank you, Lord. Yes, 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 yes Lord. Lord. Because the Bible says that when that power came and the shaking came, yes. it shook things loose. Yes, yes. It shook things up. Yes. But it also shook things in order. Yes. Because the person that needed it got it. Yes. Yes. Because of the thank you, Lord. My yes. God. Yes. Thank you. For everyone in here under the sound of my voice. God gave us an awakening this morning. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I have a clothing line that I started called Simple. Yes. And the tag to that is the best way to keep things. Yes. We try to make crazy God so complex. Yes. Yes. And the more difficult you make something, the harder it is to maintain it. Yes, yes, Lord. Have I got a witness? Yes. Amen. But how simple is it to do this? All right, man. How simple is it to say thank you? Yes, yes. How simple is it to not have to get a concordance or a thesaurus to try to pronounce a word that you want to impress God with? He's not impressed. Yes, yes. A simple hallelujah. Yes, man. Will give you some things yes. that big words will never be able to get you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God showed us how simple praise was today. Yes. Amen. How powerful it is when we do it together. Yes, yes. I got a witness. Yes. He gave me a message today on unity, uh -huh. but he allowed you to see it instead of being preached. Right. Yes, yes, Because when we worship together, yes. the power of the Holy Ghost comes oh, yeah. in. Yes, yes. And it does what he needs to do. Yes. Because it has nothing blocking its flow. Yes. Have I got a witness? Yes. Yes. For that, I say thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. Yes. My Lord, my Lord. Yes. <laughs> my Lord, some demons that was trying to come to church this morning. <laughs> they got to 8th Avenue of Florence and they heard all this. They were like, oh, no, I got no place for me this morning. <laughs> They realized some thank you was going on there. Yeah. We, we, we better go on down to the other church. We had a miss Amen. 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 God is such an awesome God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's such an awesome yes, God. Yes, he is. Yes, Lord. First lady, thank you for that. Amen. Amen. Mother, thank you for responding to God's call. Yes. To say that you needed that song yes, this yes, yes, yes. Everybody else, thank you for responding to the ship of God. Yes, all right, yes, as you shifted yes, and allowed him yes, to have his yes, way. Yes, because I don't know what's in store. Yes, but I do know he's setting us up for something great. Yes, 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 yes. For that I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I won't complain. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Look around with your spiritual eyes. Angels is in here holding themselves. All right, all right, all right. Hallelujah. All right. This is a cleansing of our spirit. All yes, right, Lord. Yes. It is a cleansing of our spirit. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. I'm just going to read a passage of scripture to seal this. Just gonna read this one little passage of scripture. And this is ties in exactly what happened just this morning. All right. In Acts chapter four. Acts chapter four. Verse number thirty-two. It says, Now the entire group of those who believed uh -huh. were of one heart yes. and one mind. Yes. And no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. Yes. But instead, they held everything in common. Yes. Mm -hmm. And today, we didn't claim that our praise was our own. Yes. 
Today, everybody believes God for the same thing. Today, we have the same mind, we have the same heart, and at the same time, we tapped into who he was. And just like it said in the scriptures before, when we did that, the sky opened, the glory cloud fell, and the power of God fell upon everybody in the building. This is what happens when we come together in unity. Yes, Lord. When we yes. come together on one accord. Yes, one mind, one heart, one body. Yes, Lord. And we give it to God for that one purpose. Because yes, he says, if I be lifted up, yes. I'll draw. Yes. Our yes. job is to lift. Yes. And we lift it up together. Yes. Because yes. there is power in unity. Yes. And when we are all together and make one sound. Yes, I come by to tell you that people hear it from miles around yes, and they are impacted by the awesome move of God yes, by a group of believers that yes. are believing the one thing together yes, and it's not about who sang the song, it's not yes, about who preached the message, yes, it's not about who played the music yes, but it's about everybody that believed because yes, 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 yes. when the glory cloud falls yes. To give you this this little thing I heard yesterday. I was speaking to a lady yesterday. And she says that a, a Japanese man walked past a church one Sunday and said they was praising God in that church so so heavy. He said he got stuck, couldn't walk past. He was just stuck. And he said he wanted to go in, but the enemy kept telling him he wouldn't fit in because he was Asian. Amen. So he sat outside on the curb because he said the power was so strong he couldn't move from the front of the church. Amen. So he sat on the curb. And that was a clear indication that when we come together on one course, Amen. that the power of God will catch folk that don't look like it. Yes. It'll catch folk that, that, that frown down on the church. Yes. Yes. They'll walk past and go past, but the spirit is so strong, they'll turn around and come back because they ain't going to believe that they felt what they felt. Yes. And that's the whole indication that we're lifting him up. We don't see God drawing him, but we're not supposed to see all of that. Amen. We're just supposed to lift him up. Yes. And we'll find out that there are sinners that'll start coming into church that have said they'll never come into church mm. because of the unity that we display in the church. Yes. Have I got a witness? Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't just get a bunch of people together and think that everybody together is going to make a difference. No, we got to come together on the same accord. Yes. yes. Amen. The Holy Amen. Spirit didn't fall on everybody until everybody came together. That's Amen. Right. That's Amen. Right. And then it says the Holy Ghost fell on them and they began to speak in different tongues and their language. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. And the language that I want us all to speak in is the thank you language. All right, all right. Thank you. Because somebody passing on past by Cedar Grove, yeah. they may never come in. Yes. But God will tell us, well done, because we did it in unity. All right, all right. And we did it together because we all believe. So that God can and that God will. Amen. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> I was tired when I walked up in here this morning. I was like, Lord, help me. <laughs> so I was tired. I put some tennis shoes on and get fishing now. I feel all right. <laughs> no, Mike, I'm not going fishing. I was just saying. <laughs> Mike would be like, hey, hey, you got to go without me. Hey. Amen. Let, let, us, let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you. We thank you for your powerful shift in this place this morning. We thank you, O oh God, that you allowed your glory cloud to fall. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the obedience of your saints. Yes, Lord. But even more so, God, we thank you for the visitation of your Holy Ghost. Yes, yes, yes. We ask you, O oh God, that even though we may not have verbally spoken out loud the things that we may stand in need of. Yes. But we thank you that you met us here to let us know that it's going to be all right. We thank you, oh God, that if any of us have any sickness in our body, oh God, that you let us know it's going to be all right. Yes, Lord. Trouble in our way. We have to cry sometimes, but we know that you're going to fix it after a while. Wow. Yes, yes. The bow down heads, God, we know that you're going to lift it. The broken heart, we know that you're going to mend it. Because, God, you said it in your word and you showed it to us today. Yes, yes. So I thank you, oh God, for your power. I thank you, oh God, for your glory. I thank you even more for your promises that you're allowing us to see every day. 
But I thank you all the more for your darling son Jesus who died on that broken cross, oh God, that we may even have the liberty to do it like we do it today. Keeping in our minds, God, that it don't take a whole lot for us to give you praise. Yes, just a yes. simple way of just acknowledging that you are the great I am. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We ask, Lord, that the spirit that you displayed in this place today, yes. that you increase it every time we yes, meet. That you shift us and let us go to another level, higher heights in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Grow us in between the week that when we come together on Sunday. Yes. That it's nothing but a natural thing for us to step in as believers yes. and give your name all praise, honor, and glory. Yes. That your spirit may continue to dwell. Yes. Move and have its way. Yes, Lord. We thank you for thank it now. We honor you, God. Yes. We thank you, O oh God. Yes. We thank you that your Holy Ghost came and preached to us today. Yes. Yes. Because we know when you preach, Father God, there's nothing left to be said. Yes. And we give your name all praise, honor, and glory. Yes, 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 right. ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. And then I ask you, O oh God, that you restore in Pastor West the First Lady. Yes, For being diligent and faithful servants. Yes, hallelujah. Beyond what they may be feeling and going yes. through, they are still on the battlefield for you. So I ask you, oh God, that you restore everything that they pour out to help Amen. bless others. Amen. And that you give them not only the desires of their heart, but that you increase their magnitude of power. Yes. That you increase their magnitude in their leadership. Yes. That you increase their magnitude in their declaring the word of God. Yes. That as they lift you up, God, others are drawn unto you yes. because of their faithfulness to please you. Yes. We thank you, oh God. Remind them that eyes have not seen, yes. ears have not heard, Hallelujah. nor has it entered into the hearts of man, yes. which you have in store for them. Hallelujah. Because they love you and know that you are the great I am. Yes. We yes. thank you for it now. Bless their home. Yes. Bless their ministry. Yes. Yes. Bless yes. everything that their hands touch. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Now we give you all praise. Yes. Yes. All honor and glory. Yes, yes. In the matchless name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us prepare our hearts for our communion. Amen. Let us prepare, prepare our hearts for our communion. My goodness. My goodness. That's my goodness. That's all I can say is my goodness. Amen. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. You know, have you ever been at a place where you expected something, and then when you got when you were going, you got more than you expected? Amen. 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 <laughs> have I got a witness? Amen. Amen. Because I asked God this morning, I said, God, give me something this morning. Yes. Amen. That's going to reignite a fire yes. that only you can ignite. Yes. And I want to know that it's burning, burning, burning. Yes. yes. In the name of Jesus. And, and I casually ask, but what would he deliver? Yes. Come on in here, somebody. Yes. My God.
Whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death mm. until he comes. You are now in the hands of the hushers in their direction as we prepare for our communion. This is something that I do also. The Bible declares that we don't take this unworthily. Amen. Let us know that if we have any sin or unforgiveness in our heart, that we're taking this and it brings damnation to ourselves. Yes, yes. So I'm a firm believer that we ought to ask forgiveness because we sin sometimes and don't realize that we sin. So if you repeat this prayer after me, Father, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Saved by grace. Saved by grace. Who have sinned. Who have sinned. And fallen short of your glory. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. For anything that I know of. For anything that I know of. And the things that I'm unaware of. And the things that I'm unaware of. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Created me a clean heart. Created me a clean heart. And renewed me a right spirit. So that my life brings you glory. So that my life brings you glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.